We're back at the Ronald McDonald House. Yep. We have not been here for three weeks due to kidney stones and doctor appointments. But today we're back. And Craig remembered to bring his pop tabs. <laughs> it's cold out today. And no, it's autumn. Mm -hmm. There was a frost warning last night, but I don't think it frosted at our house. The flowers look fine. It's only 50 degrees. It looks like there's no laundry today. It looks like they're all caught up. We need to put these in the cupboards upstairs. But other than that, I guess we'll just head on to the next thing, okay? Okay. So volunteering was cut a little short because there was not much laundry to do. So we decided to come over to the Target on Merle Hay Road because we don't go to this one very often and they usually have a bigger selection. I always like to look at the front like dollar section and I think I saw on a YouTube short that they had some cool Christmas items I wanted to see. They have more than the Target on Southside. And then after that, where are we going to eat lunch, Craig? Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we're going to try that pimento cheese chicken sandwich yeah pimento cheese chicken sandwich yeah craig's excited about that so come along to target okay. with us coming in it looks like we have a mixture of christmas and halloween here a lot of things i've seen in the halloween on the south side over here i do see some christmas trees these pretty iridescent ones and they light up. That is really pretty. I actually like that a whole lot. These are $3. I think I'll grab one. What are you asking me? About the pimento cheese. Well, it says honey pepper, but I don't think it's really hot. Right, honey pepper? Mm-hmm, yeah. You like honey, don't you? I do. <laughs> I also found these kind of iridescent ceramic looks like this one's a polar bear these are also three dollars then they have a penguin and a reindeer those are super cute they have some wreaths here i see one i want to look at oh here we go this one has that vintagey look with the pastel more pastel colored ornaments on it i guess these are probably Five. Yes, these are five dollars. Here's some here's a, a really pretty garland. It's plastic. Um, I guess this is five dollars. Doesn't look very long. So it's either for a small tree or you're going to need more than one. Pretty sure they had these last year. It's a little gingerbread family. There's the mom. I'm pretty sure I bought it. There's little kids, and probably somewhere in there, there's also a dad. There's the girl. And this looks like a turkey butter dish. And some fun colors. They also have a pumpkin. And they do have these fun colored houses. Just Bigfoot. Did you give him a name? I thought you heard. I heard you Brad. call him. Sa What's his name? Brad. Brad. Is there somebody named Sammy? This was. This is a fox or a skunk. It's a, a skunk. skunk. I heard Craig over here talking with these. They were doing a little show. Oh, there's the fox. Those are really cute. How much are these? I'm guessing three dollars. Three dollars. I'm not seeing what I saw on TikTok, which was some cardboard houses. So maybe they just don't have them out yet here. But indeed, they do have quite a bit of Christmas stuff available right now. And if you're wondering why people buy Halloween stuff so early, 
It's because well before Halloween, the Christmas stuff comes out and takes over Halloween. So you really have to, if you see it early, you better get it. This is some kind of a, it says it's a pot pal. It looks like suction cups. I was like, they do always have several kinds of fidgets up here. Oh my goodness, I just saw. Look at this. It's an inflatable piece of pumpkin pie and an inflatable drumstick. And these are $3. I think that's the only ones they have. But those are, oh, no, no, no. I think I just saw a turkey. Yeah, it looks like a, an inflatable turkey game where you throw rings over the turkey legs. Oh, you put that on someone's head. That's pretty funny. Oh, this looks like a Bigfoot little drink cup. Craig, how do you use that? What, do you the know? Sippy cup? No, that that you've got in your hand. Do you, you know? Suck. No, no you, it's a suction cup. Looks like Craig's found a Homer Simpson. I don't know why, but every time I see Homer Simpson, that song that Lurleen sang comes into my head. How's that go, Craig? Craig, how's that song Lurleen sings go? No one understands you, but I do. But what's the chorus? I finally found me a Homer. Very catchy song. Probably one of my favorite Simpsons episodes. Oops. You do? Bart was in the wrong place. Santa, the one where they get Santa's little helper. That's one of my favorites, too. Craig's looking at the record albums. What's that one, Craig? Disney's holiday celebrations. We never have a record player, right? Yeah, we don't have a record player. That's a bummer. Maybe you could get one for Christmas. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, we have Alexa. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I like all the book mugs. Well, Craig, it looks like Target doesn't have DVDs anymore. Yeah, because of streaming. Yeah. They still have them at Walmart, though. It's kind of a bummer, isn't it? Yeah. All right, time to head into Halloween and see. It looks like here it's still Halloween, though. The Target on the south side, it's mostly Christmas now. I like the chicken. <laughs> oh, no, is it a chicken or is it a pheasant? Or is it a turkey? This is definitely a turkey. It's very pretty. It's a chicken. It's a chicken pillow. It just looks a little different to me. I have acorns. Those are $15 or nope, $40 for these, for the big ones. Maybe the acorns 15 that is a cute Halloween bucket. It's like a ghost bride. That's really cute. Let's see if I see anything new at this Target. Which includes a rabbit, a weasel, a raccoon, and a penguin. Craig, do you know who this is? Who is it? I don't know. I thought maybe it was from a show or something. Is it an angry bird? I don't know. No, it's not an angry bird. Okay. I've never seen that character mm -hmm. before. Beetlejuice. Let's see his name three times. Mm -hmm. This aisle looks like the beginning of Christmas. But so far, that's all I've seen Christmas. And then we're just back to Halloween. They still have a lot of Halloween stuff here. And lots of Halloween candy. 
is just a whole lot more than they have on the south side, that's for sure. Anyway, it seems to me like there's just more variety here of things. Is this a new Kit Kat? This flavor is, maybe it's just the wrapper. Yep, it doesn't say. So I think it's just uh, the wrapper. I was hoping for a new flavor. Mini peanut butter M&M's. I have never seen mini peanut butter M&M's. They have little Skittles. And these are just milk chocolate ones in Halloween colors. They have ghost Kit Kats. Again, I, I don't think it's a special flavor. Oh, no. This is cinnamon toast flavored. Craig says we need some more cheese slices for him and Libby, right? You both like those. Okay, we got the craft singles. Craig, what do you think about these? The honey, hot honey mustard diamond night sticks. Yeah. You think you want to try those for a taste test? Yeah, kind of hot. You know. I bet they're I bet they're not as bad, not nearly as bad as those zombie. Hockeys. Those make me make my nose hurt just to smell them. How's forest frost? Fur. Oh, forest fur has a smell. That smells pretty good. It smells like Christmas. Yeah, it's Halloween. Well, we had lots though. of different. Um, I remember the nightmare. This wraps up our trip to Target. Here's a little peek at what we're getting today. Time for lunch at Chick-fil-A. Hi. Thank you. Today, Craig and I both got the same thing, the honey pepper pimento crispy chicken sandwich. I've been hearing so much about this and seeing so many commercials. We had to try it. Craig loves pimento cheese and so do I. Here's a look without the bun. It looks so good. I can't wait to try it. We did say no jalapeno, so we won't have the pepper on ours. Let's see what Craig thinks. Mmm, honey ripping. <laughs> Craig got the popular waffle fries as a side, and I decided to try the chicken tortilla soup. It looks really good. The chicken sandwich is delicious. That honey and the pimento cheese mixed with the saltiness of the fried chicken. It's pure magic. It's so good. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely need to get to Chick-fil-A and give it a try. Craig is already done with this, of course. The soup is a little spicy for me. It's good. It's very hearty. That cup of soup is definitely a meal for someone. I'm not going to be able to eat it right now. I'm going to take it home and see if Joe wants it. Uh, just a little too spicy for me. Okay, can you give us your review of Chick-fil-A? Yes. Now Chick-fil-A is the best place to be. The chicken sandwich is delicious. The waitress is nice. I give it two thumbs up. Five stars. And the Craigie Viver Silver approval. The waitress, the staff, was so helpful and kind. I don't remember if they did that the last time that we were at Chick-fil-A. We don't go very often, but they came around to our table and filled our drinks. Anything I asked, they were more than willing to help with. I was very impressed by that. You just don't get that service at a lot of fast food restaurants anymore. And now I think we will head over to Burlington and see what they have. I really have the sniffles today. Joe's been feeling <clears throat> unwell all week with a sore throat and uh, stuffy, runny nose. And I'm afraid that my time is up and I'm going to get it. I hope not. But if I do, I hope we get all of this over before vacation. And it looks like Burlington still has some Halloween items. I like these pumpkins. They're really cool, stacked up. We have those the pillow the haunted house pillows this one's pretty but throw pillows can really be just a pain 
<laughs> I feel like everyone just throws them off the couch when they want to sit down. I wonder what this back here is. It's Disney. I think it's just a, it's a Halloween picture. And then we turn around and it's Christmas. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm going to get a cart, Craig. Oh, this Disney princess blanket is super cute though. That's really cute. <laughs> And these blankets, this one is $14.99, not bad. These shower curtains over here caught my eye. And this one is gingerbread houses. And it's even got a little bit of a shimmer to the pink. Let's see how much it is. It's only $10.99. I really do like that. I'm going to get it and try it. This is also a pretty, very elegant shower curtain. It's like a gold, shiny. They have some other ones. They have Santa. Are these all the same? Yeah, it's mainly Santas. And there's also a silver one back there. That's like the gold one. Oh, and this green one with the gold trees. How fun. So I do have a Christmas shower curtain, but I think it's Disney. And I think maybe I'm ready for a change. They do have some other Christmas bathroom accessories. They are working like mad here. You can hear them in the back room unpacking boxes and they're changing things around. Getting the store ready, probably for all the Christmas stuff they need to get out. Here's a nice red towel for the bathroom for Christmas. Let's look at the, oh, look at that. I like that. I feel like I'm gonna need a kind of a pinkish one to go with my shower curtain though. There's a cardinal, that's pretty. How much are these? They are $8.99 for two. The prices are really good, really reasonable. I like that one. That might go good with my shower curtain. Let's see. Let's put them together. I think that could be okay. We're going to put that in the cart for now anyway. Even though it's still only October and we haven't even had Halloween yet. I just love seeing Christmas stuff come out. There's another cardinal towel. I might need these for my downstairs bathroom. Which ones do I want? Do I want this one? Or do I want this one? I like them both, but I feel like that one might stay better longer. But I really like this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one also would look good. This is a super cute snowman bath rug. It's not really very big, but I, I love that. Let's see what they have over here. <laughs> see some Christmas throws. There's a little cowboy themed Christmas throw. Yeah, these cute Santas for your kitchen. Oh, they're gingerbread Santas. Those are really cute. I like those. Wait, let's look at the price. I'm trying to remember to show the price of things. $12.99 each. It's a good price. We already have some garlands here. Mixed in with the Halloween garlands. We have these really cool nutcrackers. And then there's this pretty pink cone tree. I don't know how much this one is. This one is $7.99. It's actually a really good deal. I think I'm going to get that for my mantle. If I had a shelf big enough, I'd put it in my bathroom because it would go really good with that shower curtain. There's a, nat a nativity snow globe. I'm surprised Craig hasn't shook this. That's super pretty. Snow globes just seem magical. Have you ever seen the Christmas movie where the uh, lady actually goes into the snow globe? I really like that movie. Oh, this is a pretty random set that was laying here. There's a Merry Christmas sign. 
Oh, this is a really nice Christmas tree. That's really pretty. Let's see how much it is. $14.99. I'm telling you, they have some really inexpensive Christmas items that are unique and really pretty. I like the Merry Christmas sign and these gold trays. Oh, I'm getting excited to decorate for Christmas now which is going to be very soon. Here's another um, a little nutcracker on a horse snow globe. Here, Craig likes to do those. Uh, and he likes to wind them. Okay, Craig, you don't have to wind it anymore. You can't stop till it stops. Let's see this one. Uh -huh. It makes me anxious for snow now. I love snow. And here's one that's Santa with the reindeer and a sleigh. It's beautiful. Let's see what else we see. The Santa. I thought it was a cookie jar, but it's not. It's just a big bowl, I guess, container. A vase. You could put a floral arrangement in it. What else could you do with that? I really like it make it into a centerpiece. It's $16.99. I like that a lot. We have some little cherubs here. I have Craig assisting me to show you this giant Santa. I like him. He's really cool. Let's see how much he is. $29.99. They actually have quite a bit of Christmas stuff out already. And surprisingly, I'm just all for that. I just had to see it to get excited about it. It's a big Santa for your porch or your foyer. Lots and lots of Christmas trees. I want them all. <laughs> Craig's taking a, a seat over there. He always wants to pull up his short legs. <laughs> and I always have to remind him to put them down. Have more of the snow globes. Some sparkly ornaments. There's a fall gnome. It's pretty cute. A Merry Stitch Miss Cookies and Milk set for Santa. I prefer this one. I like the gingerbread better. I might like Stitch more if I actually ever watch the movie. There's some Santas and some reindeer. We've got the Grinch and Snoopy up there. And over here is just a, uh, some more fall items. Let's see how much these bells are. $8.99. I can get these because I think the girls will love these so much. I could even hang them outside. Oh, I like them a lot. That's the best price I've ever seen on the bells. Well, Craig, I think I'm about done. Craig has been very patient. He knows how much I like to look at the seasonal decorations. This has been the Wonderful World Des Moines, sponsored by Chick-fil-A. It's Chick-a-rific. Well, good night, folks. Keep on having a great day.